Welcome back. And this year marks the 40th anniversary of Mary Kennedy's broadcasting career. Since 1978, the former teacher has fronted an eclectic mix of shows, including Nationwide, Open House, Up For The Match, and the Eurovision Song Contest, which was watched live by 200 million people around the globe. Holy Not moly. Not a whole lot, really. Right, no she's also there. accomplished an accomplished author, receiving a shortlist for an Irish Book Award in 2007 for her book, Lines I Love. Her new book, Home Thoughts from the Heart, was released this week. There it is. Mary Kennedy, you're very welcome. It's very nice to be Good here. Thank morning, you for joining Mary. us. It's lovely. It's a, there's a lovely Saturday feel to this. I'm ah, enjoying it. Good, there should yeah. be. There should be. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we get to the book first. Okay. Tell us about the book. Uh, well, the book is really about home. Yes. Um, and for me, uh, home is kind of the core of my being, I suppose yeah. for everybody. Yeah. And um, I just felt that this was the, the stage of life that I was mm. at, where it's nice to reflect on, you know, different stages. And for me, it was about this. And I actually wrote the very first chapter in Malawi last year. I was over there with my daughter, uh, who actually took a lot of the photographs for the book. Lovely. And um, I was sitting up in bed waiting for her to wake up and looking through the little mesh window and down at the, the, the lake's edge was, were women washing their clothes and collecting water and putting it up on their, this was Easter Sunday, putting it up on their heads and walking with their children back to their places. And then about two hours later, they were all dressed up in their finery and they were in mass, which was done for about two and a half hours, but it was beautiful because it was like a concert. Yeah. And I just said, that, for that, that is home. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. and home means so many different things to so many people. For me, my starting point was Clondalkin, you know, mm -hmm. a three-bed semi, mother, father, four children, and uncle and aunt next door. And you just kind of think about all the different... There's also, in within the book, um, talk about people who don't have a home mm. and places I've visited with the likes of A.D. Roach and yes. places in Haiti, orphanages, and yeah. people providing homes <clears throat> for, you know, people in the margins, I think. That, when you important. go home, um, whether it's from a holiday or, or a trip like that to Malawi <clears throat> or just from a day's work, what represents home for you? Now? Yeah. Um, the dog's not barking. OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, heat. And yeah, um, now I am a, a, a techie dinosaur, but I do have the, the app on my phone where you can turn oh, the heat on. Yeah, the way home in the car. Oh, you're not yeah, that yeah. much of a dinosaur then yeah, if you're yeah, using yeah. that. Yeah, but my son put it on. All I have to do is work it. <laughs> he installed it. You just <laughs> yeah, put it on. Exactly. Yeah. You just sort that out for me, will you? Yeah, yeah. But exactly. as you say, the home is where it's where we're schooled. It's where we learn the biggest life lessons. Mm -hmm. It's also where we celebrate. Yeah. It's where we commiserate with each other. Mm -hmm. If there's a death in the family, mm -hmm. that's where we all gather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. to console each other. It's such an important yeah. place. And home really is, it's the people who are around you. Isn't yes, it? it is. And I love having people <clears throat> gathering. And, you know, there, there are different um, chapters within the book. Like there's uh, one about um, my daughter's wedding uh, two years ago mm. and the fact that she was married from home and the neighbours were able <clears throat> to come in and have a glass and, you know, be on the, at their gates then when she was leaving. Lovely. And also um, cooking is huge for me. Yeah. Oh, well, that's we Simon. Were, we were only talking about I was about surprised it. that programme wasn't on the list of programmes. Well, yeah, the well, restaurant it's up there with Simon and the lady. Because yeah. you were both on the restaurant together. together. Well, let, let me explain. We okay, were brought explain. back because we did the show separately. Mary did it first and I did it. <laughs> And we both got two stars, which effectively, <laughs> they said the food was great. Like no yeah. grades. So they really had this idea of bringing back some of the chefs who'd got two stars with a chance to redeem themselves. <laughs> so they brought myself and Mary back into the kitchen together, even though we're cooking separately. And we went head to head. OK. And Mary won. And Mary Just won. by um, a really short... What won it for you, Mary? The dessert. dessert. OK. Yeah. Which was? The dessert. Can't you remember? No! <laughs> this is, I thought you were going to say, well, it was flambéed yeah. or I can't remember. Can't I remember. can't remember. But it was but, good. Yeah, so cooking was a part of it. So there's a chapter on cooking with favourite recipes and, and photographs. And photographs are fab. Yeah. And then the garden. Gardening is something I absolutely mm. adore. And Lucy took the, the photographs for the garden section when, as well. When you're approaching writing the book... Yes. Um, you know, you're no stranger to writing. That it's one of your passions. Mm. How do you? How do? You, what's your writing process? Are you disciplined? Do you set yourself deadlines? No, it, it comes in spurts because right. it has to be done in my free time. So in mm, in Malawi, course, yeah. uh, there for ten days, I wrote about Malawi, and then it's that's your draft, you know, and that's your yeah. start, and that was, I suppose, the the first one. And then when um, I was over in Portugal in September last year for a friend's son's wedding, so I said, well, this is a good opportunity to bring the laptop and to write about 
Eva's wedding, Eva and mm. Benny's two years ago. Um, the garden is easy because I mean I can I could write forever and talk forever about the gardening. Mm. Um, the the cookery was great because you know the way you've got to get so many words and when you're putting in recipes, you say, well yes, there's a good word yeah. count there. That's a big <laughs> chunk <laughs> there that, yeah. just a list yeah. of ingredients. Fantastic. Yeah. You ticked a lot, a lot of boxes yeah. there. <laughs> you so, really no, moved it on. A, but I, I'm very good at uh, getting up early and maybe doing three or four hours if I had that. Um, and then, uh, I mean, it, the, the, the dining room table becomes the, the office, you know, and yeah. uh, I leave the laptop there all the time, you know. And It's, the, it's interesting that <coughs> you mentioned food, Mary, because if you say to somebody, anybody who, who lives away, expats mm. particularly, what do you miss about home? Oh, food. The first answer yeah. of five would be, my mammy's coddle, yeah. you know. Or apple tart. Or apple tart, Nana's yeah. apple tart or something. Is it, were there cloves in it or were there not? Exactly. Was the apple stewed And how she not? made it. Yeah, and exactly. It's, but it's a huge part of making it home. Absolutely. There's, it's the there's comfort, no doubt isn't about it? That. It's the comfort. And it's security and it's yeah. love and it's support and it's, it's nurturing. Uh, people. You know, yeah. it's nurturing. And, yeah. and, and the kitchen is the heartbeat of the home. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gravitates to the kitchen, and I think, in every house. Is. Yeah. Can I tell you a little story, Mary? Um, I did a broadcasting course before I joined Ireland AM, just in my own time with mm -hmm. my own money, mm -hmm. something that I wanted to do. It was the Bill Keating course, oh. and you were one of the speakers at it. Oh, and right, yeah. you were you yeah. were incredible, right? And was I point I'm, wagging the finger? Yeah, you were, because you, 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 you were kind of school teachery, mm -hmm. but there was a story or a line that I took away from it, and I, to this day, I still think of you saying this, and I just think it's a brilliant... <coughs> Um, description. You said, uh, and I had you presenting nationwide in my head, but it could relate to anything. Um, saying it could be a, the example you gave was a glass case of butterflies, dead butterflies. Oh yes. Or it could be backstage at you might have said Elton John or someone yes. like that. Yes, so I they were know. two gigs that Mary had done that week, yes. and she said, and obviously one is naturally more exciting than the other. But you need to be as delighted with the butterflies as you are with, with backstage at the Point Depot or whatever, wherever it was. And yeah, I still true. think about that because obviously the, not every piece of content that we cover is going to no. rock your world. No. But your job is to, you know, well, yeah, but it's be also, as... Yeah, but it's also about um, the respect. not faking it. Yes. And, uh, and th that was my mantra, be delighted. And it was around the time of the Eurovision that uh, somebody said it to me and uh, I, I, I keep it as a mantra. Mm. But like the, with the, the butterflies in a glass case, now I cannot understand what the attraction of that is, but I am fascinated to talk to the person who finds that interesting and find out why well, they like Well, that's the thing, it. because you, and you, that's you, you talk to members of the audience is. who find that more interesting than Elton John. Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. Those so the person there. who does this everyone. has to have a passion for it, and it's interesting to find out Tell why. Tell us about, because we spoke about it in the intro, and you mentioned there, the Eurovision. <laughs> in terms of nerves and prep for a gig, 200 plus Well, gigs don't get people. much bigger, do they? No, no. But uh, for me, uh, first of all, again, like it was like a family and it was like a home, the point. Yeah. Um, it was 1995, so it's a long time ago. Um, but yeah, are, it was very, very special. And it was... Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. You are, <laughs> Sorry, we're looking at a picture of you there. And you know, Fab. that gown and the other one that I wore that night were um, designed and made by Richard Lewis, who died oh. just and was buried on... Um, uh, cremated actually last Monday. Gorgeous, gorgeous man. Um, but it was a bit like a tale of two cities. You know where your man is brought up to the gallows and left there? Yeah, yeah. But that was what it was like because I yeah. had to go up backstage and go up all of these steps and then uh, I had to come down obviously on the stage um, and all of the people were there saying, no, you're grand, you're grand, you're grand, you're fixing the hair and putting on the makeup and then you go up the steps and they just wave at you from down below. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're, on your own, you're on your own. <laughs> But when you go, when I went out on stage, you just get this surge of support yeah. and love yeah. and excitement, and yeah. that keeps you. And it's so well rehearsed, and yeah. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. Now I did kind of focus on maybe little pockets. I have friends in Germany. I said, okay, I'm going to be talking to them, and yeah, you yeah. know, you couldn't, you just couldn't absorb uh, an audience too of much, that size. Yeah, too, you of couldn't course. think about it. But I think you, you can't mm. overthink it either. You're no, just there no, to do no. the job and deliver. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, we yeah. wish you every success you with the book. Thank you very much. And yeah. see you in the kitchen. <laughs> see you in the kitchen. <laughs> it looks like a gorgeous book. We need there to go it back. Is. Exactly. Home thoughts <laughs> from the heart. Mary Kennedy, always a pleasure. Oh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Now, Mary will be signing copies of Home Thoughts from the Heart at noon today at Dubray Books in Dublin's Grafton Street. Up next, we're playing with more of the toys of the year. See you in a couple of minutes.